G'day guys, and welcome back. It's been a, bit of a little while since I've said that, but today we've got a 756 satellite launch in Kerbal. I know this is my usual War Thunder content, and my usual War Thunder content will eventually come back, but definitely going to be playing some other games at the moment, and that's and videos will probably start to come back from now. But here we go, we've got launch. This first bit of the thing, you can actually see how slow my frame rate was with this rocket. Because this rocket consisted of about 3,800 parts, and that was a lot for my computer to handle. My computer isn't the best, it's only an i5, 8600K, and a 1066 gigabyte, so it's um def like a much better computer could probably have handled this a lot better, but it's how my computer handled it. As far as I know, this launch is the most satellites in one launch, uh, like four part satellites. I know people that have done more than a thousand satellites in one launch, but they're all just normally probe cores. If I am wrong, feel free to correct me. But as far as I know, this is the only one that's done, um, this is the most four part satellites because these satellites consist of uh, antenna, uh, satellite, a probe core, a battery and a solar panel so they will be forever functional satellites okay here we go we've finally gotten liftoff um as you can see this was very very slow the total recording for this there we go up to i think this is about 40 times speed here um the entire recording took about two and a half hours um of like r raw footage of just this entire mission that's how long it took with only maybe 10 minutes of in-game time. So that just shows you how slow this ran. Um, we've got an okay ascent profile here. Um, uh, it's... I was more just focusing on get this done in one launch, don't stuff it up, because this was literally the first launch I actually did this. I did not want to have to do this twice. Um, here we go. We're going through the upper atmosphere, getting a bit heady, so it's still a pretty efficient um, ascent, even for... Very, very, um, trying to be very careful with it. Um, and this rocket consists of two stage, or three stages technically. We've got the first stage, which is the two large, I think, behemoth um, SRBs with the five, um, what are KSB version of F1 engines. Um, so basically a Saturn V first stage. Then we've got the second stage, um, which is the... Um, which is a 5 meter fuel tank with 6 vector engines, which are basically the space shuttle engines. And here we go, we've got payload deployed, and you can see all the um, satellites there if you didn't catch it in the opening part. Here we are, so we're spinning, here we are, we're spinning up the, um, the thing to get, make the satellites all split out a bit more. Um, when I press spacebar to, se to separate the satellites, it took 46 minutes for one frame to load. It took a little while. So here's the comnet proving to you that all the satellites are still in orbit. I did also use time warp so none of the satellites would have gotten destroyed. So all 756 are all functional. And now we're going to time warp and see a very um, good example of Kessler syndrome. And the green bars just start to grow and grow and grow it's this save is unusable <laughs> um now but i guess you know that's the payoff for doing something ludicrous like this um and now we can have a look at what the actual satellites would look like this is in a different save obviously but this is what the satellites looked like they had a small circular battery but the smallest um inline probe core with the uh, static antenna and the small um, photovoltaic um, array. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.